Hola, estudiantes. So we're going a little bit of a different direction than with the textbook. We're still doing the textbook. Um, we're going to wrap up that unit one uh, and move on to unit two, which is called La Creatividad, Creativity. We're still doing that. Uh, I'm going to kind of be working it in here and there while we do this. Very, very useful, very meaningful thing we're going to do here. And then also read a poem about... Um, well, it's not about the Day of the Dead, but it goes along with the dead. And we're going to be using this throughout the year, this packet. So, um, terminos literarios, literary terms, you know, like metaphor, alliteration, irony, stanza. Well, stanza is not much one, but analogy, stuff like that, okay? So, escribe en inglés, etc., etc., I'm just going to summarize you. So the first thing you do is write what these words mean, okay? So look them up in the uh, dictionary. But for this one, this prosopopeia is like, um, th that's like personification, basically. It is. It's just another word for it. So if you want to see how that is spelled, it's personificación, okay? So you can see how that is. Okay, that's basically personification. <clears throat> So that's the first step. Two, busca las definiciones. Look for the definitions of these words in this website called um, Real Academia Española, um, the Royal Spanish Academy. What that is is basically the authority on the Spanish language, basically. Um, if you go to buscar, I think it says, to look for, like search a word up, and you plug in these words, and then basically um, you don't have to worry about these these uh, uh, colors on that, like write it red. I mean, in fact, well, you know, unless you're writing it on here, I'd rather you print this if you could. Um, but, uh, and then try to figure out what these, what, what is this a definition of? Is this alliteration? Is that a metaphor? And then you're supposed to write it on the line. That's why I said, it. hopefully you have a printer. Uh, you can print this. Um, okay, so then, escribe la palabra del banco con rojo en frente su definition. You don't have to do that. Well, you still have to write it in the bank, but this is for when we were doing online learning last year, and you were supposed to write it in front of the definite, like over here, but you don't have to do that. You can just write it on the line. Um, all right, cuatro. Saca apunte. Take notes on the sentences. You know what take notes means. Like, if you don't know what personaje means, you know, jot it down underneath it, what that means in English. Um, all right. Donde dice ejemplo? It says, puedes escribir un ejemplo de un libro, poema, o uno que encuentras en el internet. So, an example, you know, it's okay if the example's in English. Um, I, I tried to do some of these myself, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, some of these are, like, really hard to... Um, I mean, you could do it in Spanish if you want. Like, just, like, look up an example of irony in Spanish. Ironia. But um, I guess you can just do that part in English, like an example. Like, what is an example of a metaphor? Um, I mean, to do that all in Spanish, it's just like, oh my gosh, that's mucho. I mean, do if you can do it in Spanish, that would be great. Um, but here, absolutely in Spanish, you have to do it this way. Donde dice ejemplo tuyo? Tienes que escribir un ejemplo original tuyo. Where you see ejemplo tuyo, you oh. have to come up with your own original example of that. So basically, if it's rhyme, it's rima, then you just, you know, write down three words that rhyme in Spanish. Okay, if it says uh, metaphor, then you have to come up with your own little metaphor. Uh, you could still do research on the internet for that, but it should still be in Spanish. Okay. Um, and then, okay, so I said that, donde hay un asterisk, la definición no está eso. Wherever you see an asterisk, that you're not going to find that definition on that website. Okay. You have to just figure this out just by what it says, what it is, and then looking at the bank. Okay? And then we are really going to use this in the future. Okay? With the poem, it's so worthwhile. One of the best, honestly, one of the most worthwhile things I think you'll do all year. Um, that it's like, oh, you're reading a poem in Spanish. Like, oh, whoa, that's a metaphor. That's a metaphor. And then you're going to read, hey, that's a metaphor. And this poem that we're going to read is so perfect for that. So 